time. Well, we're joined right now by one of the cast members of Equus, Georgia Warner. Georgia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And congratulations. The show is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> we were lucky enough, yeah. Uh, yeah. Last night we were there, and uh, it was a real experience. It was fantastic. This is a huge break for you. Indeed. How did it all come about? Well, my grandfather is the director. And um, he, he and Alec, because Alec is on the board of the theater and had mentioned that if he did something at the theater, he'd like my grandfather to direct. That's Alec Baldwin, yeah. by the way, not just any <laughs> random <laughs> Alec. Um, and Tony Walton, who I, I will refer to as Pop-Up, maybe from here on in. Um, but he, uh, Pop-Up and Alec had been kind of tossing a bunch of ideas about different shows. And then Equus came up and... And naturally living in the same house, I was kind of like, what? Excuse me, sorry. And actually, he, he had come over to our house the, way before I was born, but coming over saying, oh my gosh, Tony, the craziest thing just happened. Some kid just blinded horses with a spike. So, like, it all happened in the apartment that I'm living in now. So I actually had to, I, I worked with a vocal coach for a while, and I, I auditioned for Peter, for Peter Schaffer in his apartment with Sam. And Amazing. he gave me the go. Amazing. I got the role. No, brilliant. Yeah, can you talk to us a bit about the process, working with Alec Baldwin, how that affected the, the, uh, the show as a whole? I don't know what it would have been like, all of us, w without him, but he's such a leader and his energy is so just present and, and I don't want to say forceful, but it's just, it's, it's so, he's so bubbly and, and, and young. He has this, like, kind of inner child that I think it sort of set the pace for the rest of us, so... Something about this production, I mean, as opposed to other ones I've seen or, or read about, it's just everyone is very playful. It's very, very, very playful, and he's always trying new crazy things, and, and it's really cool. Has he been inspirational to you? Has he been a kind of guiding spirit through the whole process? Um, a little bit, I would say. So he's very sort of protective. He actually he, he knew my mother before all this from living in the Hamptons. Right. So I think the whole... Um, he, he takes a very paternal stance in the whole nudity thing. He's very aware to, like, find a dramatic choice to justify not looking at me and, like, <laughs> <laughs> making sure that, you know. Um, we should talk about the nudity thing very briefly because it's a really brave thing for a young actress to get up there. And, I mean, it's so exquisitely done in the show and I think, you know, absolutely justified mm -hmm. by the drama. So yeah. was that something that you had to really think about or was it just You know, it, cool. it wasn't. I mean, it, it came later. It, it was just the opportunity to do the show and with Alec and, and it was just, yeah, I'll do it. And then, and then I had to kind of think, hey, I'm going to have to be naked. But, you know, honestly, I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. I started off thinking, like, you know, I should diet and all this stuff and I should really, like, get in shape. And then, and then I... You look I, amazing. Well, I started, I started thinking that I think what, you know, what makes this girl a attractive and, and kind of her dramatic purpose in the play to a degree is that she's a, a normal girl. So I didn't want to look, you know, I didn't want to look like Megan Fox. I didn't. I wanted to look like a, a normal girl naked. You know what I mean? I, it's kind of one of those, like, afraid of heights thing. Just like, I just don't look down. Like, if I don't look down, I just don't even feel it. You know, every now and then I'll be like, oh, you know, it's, you're so you're so in the Once moment. Once you've done this, everything else is going to feel like a breeze. So, right. so it's you know the, the the everything going on behind it. It's not just like a sex scene. Forgive me, it's not. You know, it's right, like right. it's a it's a very tense. And so I'm just not thinking about it. You know, gratuitous in any way. It's, oh, it's, it's really beautifully done. Yeah. It's really a, a fantastic moment. Oh, good. Coming back to the Hamptons because you were born and raised here. I How's did. that been? Well, it's, it's been interesting. I mean, I haven't really had the chance to explore so much because we've been in rehearsal the whole time, but I'm really looking forward to once we just have night shows, like going to the beach. I just ordered my, my tan through bikini, which is so I don't get any tan lines. Whoa. I found that they make those. Um, <laughs> oh, science. science. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I know. No, it's Georgia, thank you so much thank for Thank you. Yes. It's been wonderful. From the very gorgeous Georgia Warner to other gorgeous local Hamptonites, Coming up next, our search continues for the summer's hottest bartender.